What's up, y'all? Today we're making mukeka. It's called mukeka. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Brazilian fish stew. It's also called moqueca. It's a very simple recipe. You can do it during the week and it fits all diets. So let's go. Okay, first things first. It's called moqueca, not moqueca, but um, yeah. So yeah, dice up half an onion, one whole red bell pepper, you know, um, some jalapenos, you know, you can put the seeds in. You know, I had some tenderonies at the house who can't handle the spice, so I had to take the seeds out. But, you know, if you want to put the seeds in, by all means, go ahead and put the seeds in. And then, yeah, basically, man, chop them up. And uh, that's my doggy right there. She's looking for treats. Cut you some garlic, because you're going to need that. Got some onions, some bell peppers, some jalapenos, some garlic. So let's go. Saute some onions with some olive oil. Add that crushed garlic. You know, add your peppers, your jalapenos. Make sure you season them with salt. You know, you gotta pay the salt tax. Put some cumin in right there with some chili powder and some smoked paprika and some black pepper and some turmeric for a little bit of color. So you know you're getting different type of peppers I'm putting some oregano right there so it's just you know the Brazilian slash Italian flavors coming out you know definitely put salt to your taste you know it's a uh, it's a little salt shaker so you know I had to keep shaking it and uh, basically cook the spices and after you cook the spices add some tomato paste and cook the tomato paste with the spices and then add some coconut milk and make sure you basically boil this for like five minutes before you add the fish in there's the fish I got some Chilean sea bass so cut up into little cubes and uh, add the Chilean sea bass you can basically add salt at this point to taste how it tastes and if it tastes great add the fish in because you know you don't want to add the fish when the sauce is under salted so you know add the fish in you can put tilapia like I said any white fish any filleted fish is better don't put the fish with bones because that's gonna be a pain to pick out the bones so always use filleted fish so yeah cover it up with the lid let it simmer for like five to ten minutes when you take the lid out you know the fish should be almost cooked by this point add some scallions green onions whatever you got you know you can even put chives at this point and uh, yeah basically just just kind of taste it make sure you know the salt is good and if it's too salty you can add some lime juice um, but if it's under salted please people for the love of God put some salt in and it seems like a lot of salt but it's not really you know it's just perfect and uh, right now I'm adding some cilantro and uh, for the for the people who don't like cilantro you can definitely put uh, parsley and that would work uh, I can you can even put basil at this point if you want to but uh, I love cilantro so that's what I added in plus you know I think that's what the Brazilians would probably do add some cilantro and right here I made some cauliflower lime rice with cilantro course I love cilantro so you know I put cilantro on everything some people don't like it they think it tastes like soap so you know to each his own man uh, I'm kind of keeping a low carb nowadays you know trying to lose some weight so that's what I'm doing right now you can definitely eat this with white rice or brown rice or whatever you want but there it is man that is the moqueca Brazilian fish stew with some cauliflower rice all right guys made the moqueca I made some cauliflower uh, lime rice and let's taste it oh man let me get some fish right here let me get that fish
Go make this guys, very easy recipe. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I'll be making more videos for you guys in the future. Please also let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want me to make. Until then, feast with Pete, have a good day.